Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Gemini. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Gemini, I feel like uh, you are going to hear from someone. I do feel like this was uh, a lost opportunity. I feel like uh, someone from your past is returning. We have the Six of Cups here and we have the Stork. So you are going to get news uh, about this. Now the Stork, um, the Stork, the Stork means that there's major change, okay? Major change is on its way to you. Something is being delivered to you, okay? This could be a brand new start. Um, with someone from your past, okay? So, um, it can also bring you relief. So, if you are really worried about something, uh, and I, I see that you are here and over here, <laughs> so I see that you are very worried um, about, about, uh, accepting this opportunity, stepping into this opportunity. Um, I feel like there, there is news that would uh, bring you relief for that. Okay, so um, all is not clear right now, but I feel like it will be. Uh, here we see you receiving the message. Um, <clears throat> and although you're very surprised to get this message and you are uh, initially, I think, uh, surprised and happy, but then I feel like concern sets in after, okay? Because I feel like there was uh, disappointment. I feel like this ended badly and suddenly between you and this person in the past. There was a tower moment. Um, but I feel like... Uh, this is like that love that you you lost and it's like uh, you can't stop thinking about this person. It's like that for you, okay? Or they. this is someone you lost uh, an opportunity with and they, they always come back. It's like it always comes, this person always comes back. It's like you can never seem to forget this person. It's like that. Um. <clears throat> I feel like this person has indeed, they've tried to move on, but they're unable. So they're coming back. And just as you, it's like you and this person have this very strong connection. It's like overpowering. They've tried to move on after that tower moment, but couldn't. You, you keep, they keep coming back around in your mind. It's like you can't forget this person, okay? Um the swords fell out quite some time ago. Um, all right, this is uh, your heart that got broken, and uh, but it is still wounded, so it has not yet healed, this heart. Um, so maybe this is what's bringing all of this concern, okay? Um, it could be, uh, yeah, see, something is coming back around. We have the devil here. And uh, we have this Knight of Swords. But you're not so sure with the devil here. You're not so sure it's good for you. You're tempted, but you're not so sure that they uh, are good for you. Um, you have both feet in water. So that indicates to me that you're thinking with your emotion. Okay. So you're not feeling grounded here. And so in that energy, you shouldn't decide anything. Okay. It feels like... Uh, this person has indeed learned, okay, because they were the other knight of swords in the past who's charging with their sword. Now, look how calm they are. Uh, they come in, they don't want to fight. Their sword is sheathed. They, they come in as a helper this night. He has learned. But, of course, you don't know that, right? All you know is that they broke your heart. And so, you are very worried uh, that there will be a tower. This tower has not hit. This is this one has hit in the past. You see the lightning strikes it, but look at this one. The lightning has not struck. This is just all of your worry and concern that it might happen again. Okay, 
that maybe you guys aren't on the same page, you know. Um, I, th I think that you just want some peace of mind. You may also want some peace of mind with what happened in the past between you uh, in order to uh, help you decide for the future. Um, your mind is, is very occupied. It's like burning the midnight oil, so it's like you can't stop thinking about this. You, you must make a decision on this, and I, I, I kind of feel like uh, you don't really want to lose this again. That's what I, I feel. Um, it feels to me like it's, it's something, a, a lost wish or something uh, in the past, okay? Um, you're burdened by this decision. Um, and so it's like you're holding back uh, because of these burdens. But be careful. Those are ghosts of the past stirring up a lot of emotions. All right. And if you take a decision uh, from that place or from that state of mind, um, then uh, it's likely there will be a consequence. So my advice is to just pull back and uh, try to get yourself grounded before uh, taking that decision, okay, for this new beginning you have here. I would suggest if you're having any misgivings to spend more time with your person talking before deciding, okay. <clears throat> and um, telling them about your misgivings, talking about your misgivings. Uh, I feel this will also help to dispel of, of any uh, negative thoughts that you are having. Okay, I feel like they come in uh, to communicate. I feel like um, we have the Page of Swords, we have the Page of Cups. So I feel like they come in to communicate uh, how they feel about you. I feel like this person has been with these two cards side by side. They have been um, uh, thinking about this for some time, thinking about doing this, uh, telling you how they feel. It's like really they've been obsessing over this, okay? It's been really on their mind. <clears throat> um, you're very, very tempted, but you're also very afraid uh, to move forward, okay? Uh, with this because you've been burned before in the past. Once again, I say be careful of uh, the ghosts of the past. I feel like uh, the wheel here in, it, in this position is asking you to, uh, to uh, step into this. I feel like you're going to have to take a leap of faith, okay, and step into uh, this unknown energy, uh, this, yeah, step into this unknown, um, and I feel like for each step, uh, each step forward will require a leap of faith, but it's going to get easier and easier uh, as you go, okay? You take one step, and the divine will show you the next, okay? Um, on either side of you, you have the wheel of fortune and the star, so you will be guided through this, uh, through this energy, Okay, um, your person has changed, but you need to, you need the time to see it. Okay, so that's why I said don't decide right away. Um, this ended badly, and this is why uh, there's concern, and it's why uh, you're holding back, and it is what is haunting you about making uh the same decision again, like picking up and, and taking uh, this lost opportunity uh, once again. All right, so um, I think that you will be shown the way for sure. Here we have the hanged man, and we can see that he has received understanding, and so will you. Um, you will know what to do. You will be guided. And what you must do, I feel, uh, what I'm seeing here uh, is that you need to take that leap of faith and uh, then you will be shown the next, okay? Because this is something that is going to take uh, some time 
for you to see for yourself okay that's uh that's the only way that you're going to know that they have actually really truly changed and they have they have so like i said every step forward is going to get easier with each step it's going to get easier each step you take will get easier that is what i have for you i thank you for watching for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing also thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation it is greatly appreciated many blessings to all of you